Hey guys, this is Amanda. In this video, I'm going to show you how to match colors within your image. Uh, and this beautiful image is from Where Blue Birds Fly Photography. Um, so what we're going to be doing is um, there's three shades of pink. So we're just going to kind of match them up. I want the, the wrap to match the, the baby's bonnet. A little bit more so let's go ahead and do that and the first thing I'm going to do is grab my color picker tool if you don't see it just right click and make sure your eyedropper tool is selected and I am going to pick uh, more of a, a deeper purple color within the bonnet notice there's many shades and colors depending on where you click within the bonnet I'm going to start with a darker color to match. Keep in mind later on you can go back and change the color very easily. So we're just going to start off here and notice that that color that you just picked is in the foreground color uh, right here. Okay, so next I'm going to click on my little half circle to add a layer or you can go to layer, new adjustment layer, um, or new fill layer rather, and solid color. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to go to solid color and it already pops up on the color that you had just selected. Go ahead and press OK. And now we're going to change the blending mode to color. Okay, notice it's affecting the entire image. I'm going to click on the built-in layer mask. It's the little white rectangle. Remember when using uh, layer masks, white reveals and black conceals. So I want to conceal uh, this enhancement for now. I'm going to press Control or Command I um, to conceal it. And now I can just grab my brush, bring white to the foreground color. Make sure you've got a soft brush selected or soft edged brush. I make my brush larger and smaller by using the left and right bracket keys. Okay. And also make sure your opacity is at 100%. Now I'm not going to be super careful with this just for time's sake and it is coming off really light so we're going to darken this here in just a moment. This is going to be a really simple two-step process. I might actually zoom in. This is saved for web so uh, it doesn't look too pixelated but oops, there we go. Okay and again I'm not going to be too super careful uh, around the edges. Keep in mind if you do make a mistake and go outside of uh, the edge, maybe I get some over here on the blanket, just bring white or black to the foreground color rather and just paint over your mistake. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom through this. And if you're having trouble seeing where you had painted, just press the backslash key. Everything that's red obviously has not yet been painted. And you can just easily go in and finish your selections. Sometimes, sometimes this is a little bit easier for me, so I'll just finish up the painting with the mask on. Okay, so that's good enough. All right. So again, I want to darken the, the wrap color. It's kind of, it's on its way to matching, but I still don't think it has the color depth. Uh, so next I'm going to add a new layer, uh, levels. I'm just going to make it a little bit darker. Now this is going to apply to the entire image for the moment, but I will go back and change this. Uh, and I, I'm just pulling down my mid-tone slider. Notice how it's it's darkening the mid-tones. And I'm also pulling down my darks just to give it that extra contrast. Now I'm going to control or command I on the layer mask again so we can just paint that on to baby's wrap. And if you like it with the, the light airy purple, you can leave it as is. Or we can go ahead and add just a little, little bit of depth to baby's wrap here. Also, that goes in reverse if the area that you're color matching is too dark, you can lighten it up with the levels adjustment as well. Okay. 
or just about done. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Um, and again, say you had uh, you're done and maybe you don't like the color that you had originally picked. Just go back on uh, the color layer. I'm going to double click on my little purple square here. And you can very easily either click in different areas of your image and sample. Notice how it's changing depending on where I'm clicking my image. I can match the color to the blanket or I can click within uh, different areas of my little color box here. So I'm going to press cancel and exit out. Um, and that is it. It's really super simple to uh, match uh, different uh, colors within your image um, and just really make a really nice cohesive look. I hope you guys all enjoyed the, the video and uh, learned how to coordinate uh, your colors within an image. Thanks, guys.